Well, I finally got my hands on PSA's Jackal to review. Now, it's not new anymore, but I just got my hands on one. And now that it's been around a while, it seems to be doing really well. It was time to do a comprehensive review beyond seclusion style. I'm going to test it for accuracy, function, breakdown, suppressed versus unsuppressed. You know, take it to the distance out four or five hundred yards there over my shoulder, top of the hill, if we can, benched and standing. I also want to test out five different loads from AAC showing the feet per second accuracy and energy for the 300 blackout. Now, there are many things that caught my attention with this new design, and I have been anxious. Guys, I've been anxious to test this out for a long time. Let's see if it meets all the hype and is worth the extra coin over the traditional AR design. Now, the one thing that caught my attention the most was the no buffer tube design. This makes the pistol version much easier to use and perfect to SBR if you desire. Let's find out just what the Jackal is all about and what it can do. There we go. I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Now, I remember when PSA started working on the Jackal. It seems like a long, long time ago, and it has been coming for some time. Now, honestly, I wanted to wait until it had been around for a while before trying it, you know, see if it had any bugs, um, you know, if anything needed fixing. It seems to be doing great. Time to put it to the test. Let's start with the specs and tech. Check this out. Hey guys, I got a call from a local supermarket that had a whole bunch of expired hams and was doing a separate review. You might want to check that out. It is the Jackal and the 300 Blackout versus a bunch of expired hams. Uh, I did that as a completely separate review because it's kind of long with the slow-mo. Anyway, you're going to want to check that out. Here's just a teaser. Okay, so to field strip this, it's really easy. We're empty. Just like an AR, we pop the pins. In here, we just push this down. This comes out. Okay, bolt comes out. And then from here, there's this inside. And this is where we can take out the charging handle and we can flip sides. Now, this, if it does slide out, okay, you have to have it upside down and it fits right in there like that and moves forward. Might want a little lubrication on there. It's pretty dry. We've been shooting it here. Now, to switch sides, all we do is we slide it right in here. Okay, if you, you can actually kind of put it in too far and then it doesn't want to go forward. So we just pull it out just a little bit. There we go, until it slides forward. Slide that all the way forward. And then we simply reverse. goes upside down and there we go okay real quick the trigger that comes with it is pretty much mill spec a 
a little bit of travel, a little bit of creep, awesome reset. You know, as far as mil spec triggers, it's not bad, okay? I think uh, if we had a custom trigger in there, we could probably shrink groups, I'm guessing. Let's just see what we get for pounds here. Yeah, five and a half. That's actually less than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be closer to seven. A little under five and a half. There you go. Okay, so as far as the gas system goes, I love the toolless. Now, I was shooting with a suppressor, so I have it turned all the way clockwise. That's where I was getting um, a solid, consistent ejection with everything regardless of the weight. Now, before I had my suppressor, when I was shooting it as it came, I had it about in the middle and was having great success with that. Then we can turn it all the way the other way and adjust that way. Now, I haven't had a ton of piston um, and adjustable gas blocks, but when they say toolless, this is the easiest, simplest that I have ever encountered. I absolutely love it. Now, I have encountered some before that turned, but you know, it didn't take long in very many rounds and they were getting really hard to turn. You know, we, I had put a lot of rounds through this thing and it's just as effortless as the day that it arrived. I love it. I'm going to keep it all the way clockwise so that I can shoot it suppressed. Hey guys, really quick note. If you're checking out the Jackal and you're reading the info on the webpage, it specifically says that it will fit any mil spec AR lower. Now, with that in mind, it will fit a stripped lower. You can't take the upper and just pop it onto your AR lower that has a buffer tube. You have to have this piece, and then you also have to change out the bolt release. So I just I want to make sure that that's clear because some of you might be thinking the way it's stated that you can just get the upper, and then you can just throw that on your AR lower. You can but you're gonna to have to take the buffer tube off and basically you're gonna construct using any AR mil spec stripped receiver, you can make a jackal lower, if that makes sense. I was really interested to test out the long stroke piston design as we all know how reliable that is in AKs. And that means a very short and compact overall length with everything contained in the lower receiver with the benefit of AR compatibility for things like triggers, and all the other items. Let's just get the barrel season with one of my favorite optics that is perfect for this gun. Primary Arms SLX 3X Micro Prism, specific to the 300 Blackout and 762. In other reviews, I have easily taken the gun out to three, four, and even 500 yards on steel with even short barreled guns. Now for close quarters and less than 50 yards, I have a 45 degree offset mount with a hollow sun HS407C. You know, both of these optics are tough as nails and perfect for this gun. For my offset mount for the hollow sun, I have a Strike Industries. It's the ambush. It's the 45 degree optic mount. I absolutely love this thing, guys. It's a little more coin than some of the, the typical 45 offset mounts. But this one, you absolutely get what you pay for. You can mount pretty much anything and everything to it. You might want to check it out. I got to say, I just love this optics setup. Okay, so I've been working on seasoning the barrel and getting the optic zeroed in. I think we're, we're good to go and we're pretty decent on the seasoning. Let's see what we get for our final groups here. Okay, actually, I just used the binox, and we're we're just a dash to the right. So I made two clicks to the left. Let's see how that does.
I'm gonna go one more click to the left and call that good. Now I wanna quick uh, see if this is on and put some on the target using just the red dot. Okay, so we're just gonna cant it sideways here a little bit and use the red dot. Okay, those were some pretty decent groups using range ammo. Let's go check those out. There we go, guys. That was the first. There's five shots there. Uh, was checking the zero needed to come just a little bit left. There's the next five shots. I did one more click left, and then I called that good. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> That's the five shots using the red dot. Now, with it canted, it does pose some challenges for zeroing because you're going, you know, elevation and windage. But as far as a red dot and the distance that we would be using that, I'm going to call that good. So this is what I'm getting at 50 yards. I absolutely love this optic, guys. Let's, uh, let's take a look at 200, 300, 400. So this is the sight picture that we're getting from the red dot at 50 yards. This is what we're seeing at 200 yards with the red dot. And then this is what we're seeing looking through the optic at 200 yards. So that's what we're seeing at 300. That's our sight picture at 400 yards. So that's what we're seeing at 500 yards, guys. Okay, so let's just see what we can do at 200. Uh, zeroing at 50 yards gives us a battlefield zero. This does have a BDC compensator that will mess it up a little bit, but I usually make it work just fine. Let's give this a go. Yeah, that was too easy. That's what I expected. Okay, let's reach out there to 300. We're gonna try just, you know, on the bullseye or in this, the tip of the chevron, and I'll show you the field of view. Let's give this a go and see if, it, if it's on. Hey folks, are you enjoying this review? If you are, help support the channel, hit that subscribe button. This helps more than just about anything. It's simple, quick, costs you nothing, not a zip, zero, nothing. So hit that button, keep the reviews coming. Now, if you have not visited my webpage, you should for many reasons, like my discount codes for some of the great companies, including ammo, guns, and gear. I have a list of the companies that I use the most and recommend at the bottom of the page is a list of current discount codes ranging anywhere from 5 to 15% off anything in your cart. Now, you should be interested in my crazy, stupid deals subscription. Here are some of the deals that I found in the past, and when I find these, I now have the ability to share in an instant with everyone that subscribes, and I blast them out in an email as soon as I I find them it costs you nothing unsubscribe at any time i have saved folks hundreds even thousands of dollars don't take my word read the comments it works it's awesome and it costs nothing if you follow my channel and you shop on Amazon, you can help support and keep the reviews coming by going on to Amazon through my link. Anything and everything you purchase by doing so helps support the channel. You can literally buy toilet paper through my link and it helps support the channel and the reviews. Simply save the link to your phone or your computer and shop as you always do. And check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You got nothing to lose. Literally thousands have found them helpful. Read the reviews and see for yourself. Here and check out the cooking tips page. There are some awesome recipes on there. Good food and it can literally save you thousands of dollars a year. Thanks for your help. Couldn't do it without you. Nice. Okay, so I was using the top of the line at 300. At 50, we've got the top of the chevron. And 100, we'd be using the top of the chevron. Let's reach up to 400. Okay, it's getting pretty small up there at 400 with three power. Uh, I'll try the first line here. We've got just a, just a faint cross breeze. I might go just a scotch to the right. 
There we go. Try aiming just a little bit higher. <laughs> nice. Okay, so I was taking the top of the first line and putting it at the head of the IDPA. Let's try five. Man, that IDPA is getting really small at 500. Hey, there we got it. four left out of that box let's jump back down to 400 and see how fast we can get these off nice i'm just curious if we can hit the steel using the red dot here at two Oop, I got another one in the chamber yet. I went to have put in. <laughs> no, you gotta love that. So I didn't really think about it, but I really can't use this stand and I only can use this if I'm, if I'm benching and I can basically control the recoil. Um, so what I'm going to do now is we'll try standing at 50 yards with the offset red dot. I think we'll be pretty good here. Yeah, I figured that would be easy. Uh, let's reload and try 100. Guys, I'm going to be honest, my number one plan idea for the Jackal was to SBR it, and that is off. Hopefully, I'll get my tax stamp soon, and then I can put a stock on this and, and really have some fun. Let's see what we can do here at 100. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, yeah, we'll have to try two. Okay, let's give this a go at 200. This is going to be a lot more challenging. We did hit it, resting it, so we know it was on. There we got it. Just got to push forward enough. One hundred, yeah, we could do to really hold that steady enough for two hundred. It just really wasn't working all that great. What I want to do now is, is uh, I'm still using this to season the barrel. Let's uh, chronograph uh, AAC's different ammo out of this, so you know what you're going to get out of this. That will kind of further along the seasoning, and then I want to put a optic on this, like a scope, so that we can see what is the uh, best case scenario for accuracy. I'm also going to take off the birdcage flash suppressor, put an adapter on there, and put my can on it because. You know, 300 blackout, and especially the Jackal, is really kind of designed for a suppressor. As you have seen, it works just fine if you don't have one, but 
you know, it really was sort of intended to have a suppressor. So let's get that on. One thousand six. One thousand fourteen. One thousand eleven. Nine hundred eighty seven. One thousand forty seven. One thousand fifty one. One thousand twenty four. 1,037 1,160 2,177,2,207,2,200,2,196 1,803 1,776 1,789 1,800 1,809 2,048 2,043 2070 2014 2027 Okay, so real quick, this is the order that I'm going to go in, uh, left to right, top to bottom. We're just going to go to make it easy when I'm down there, heaviest to lightest. <laughs> nice guys i can't wait for you to see that group the 125 grain full metal jacket the range ammo all touching guys i am super impressed okay so the middle one this was getting zeroed with the scope and worked our way over and we stopped there okay then what i did was i went from heaviest to lightest so this is the 220 Sierra Match Kings, that's five rounds. There's two, two in there, two in there, and one in there. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Um, then we go to the 208 grain, and that's good. Uh, I'm going to call that a flinch. Okay. Then we go, and this is what's crazy. We go the 150 grain full metal jacket. That's five shots. Even better, we go to the 125 grain. Basically, the cheapest, the range ammo. Check that out, man. That's five shots. And then we go the Amax. Um, I want to redo, actually, what I'm going to do, I just, let's go back and cycle all the way through and do another five rounds and see what happens. But I wanted to stop here so that we could see what we got with the first five round groups. Okay, guys, I am so happy with those groups. You got to check these out. Okay, so we showed you the zero in. We did the five shot groups, and then we went back and we did another. There's our 220 grain, so there's 10 shots, two groups of five. You know, that's pretty good. The 208... I really liked the 208. That was solid. Um, you know, it's slower. We had two flyers. Otherwise, that's really nice. Remember, we zeroed on the 125. That's why it's down. And for some reason, with the, the heavier ones, it kind of comes left. And there's our 150 grain. That's AAC's full metal jacket. I mean, basically, a heavy range ammo. That's nice. That is awesome. That is 10 rounds of their range ammo. They're 125 grain full metal jacket, AAC's bullet, that rocks. And then this is the 110 grain uh, AMAX. You know, we had a flyer here, and that's a great group, but what I just think is hilarious is you take the range ammo, 
from AAC and it blows away everybody. Well, anyway, there you go, guys. As I always say, it is what it is. Let's reach out and bang on some steel while we've got the scope with some of our range ammo at 500 yards. Let's see what we can do with that 125 up there at 500. Nice. <laughs> Man, you got to love that, guys. That says a lot about the ammo and the gun. There you have it, guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, help support the channel. Be sure and hit that subscribe button, guys. Hit that button. It really helps the most like and comment. Until next time, happy shooting. Remember, educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. And every time we're on the range, every time we're shooting, that makes us ambassadors for the Second Amendment. Be a good ambassador. Be a safe and responsible gun owner.